Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. Why am I at this spot again? Well, that's because we have the same conditions as yesterday, pretty much. Off by a few minutes, for sure, but the same conditions. So we still have a pretty low river, though it's supposed to come up over the next few days, about a foot. Still not much, but it's gonna be around five. It'll stay there for a little bit, maybe change, maybe drop a little more. That's just a prediction, anything's possible but the same thing is true about the tide as it was yesterday low tide is at 749 tonight so we're here right before it that means we still have a bit of an outgoing tide though it's going to slow down and by 749 a little bit after that it'll start coming in and as we get further past that it'll come in more if we stay that long we'll see but this spot has been really productive with these conditions for the first half of this month over the last several days anyway so we're going to stick with it but next week things will change the tide will flip around when, when, once we get after that new moon the high tide won't be so early in the morning it'll be later it'll be about right where the low tide is tonight somewhere near there yeah you're right so let's, let's see what i'm doing we are only going to throw small baits and each rig is exactly the same starting with 40 pound test mono high vis line for the main line three ounces of lead, that's a null roll, the bead, the swivel, all that good stuff. And then my my leader is gonna be a 50 pound leader and both my hooks are six aught octopus style hooks with small pieces of pan fish. A lot of times small baits are really productive in winter, but sometimes you'll find once you get deeper through fall that small baits start working better than big baits towards the back into fall and we're getting there that's what i've been finding lately we might throw a big bait we might get something from it but i think little baits are going to be more productive because a lot of big fish this week and last week were caught on little baits so let's get out there got a crew boat over here at the kim trans polaris this tanker that was in front of us yesterday i wonder if they're dropping off a river pilot Therefore, it's about to go. I don't know, there could be anything. Fair bit of activity on the river today, maritime wise. What do you think, the rod on the right? might be going off <laughs> haven't been out for very long we still have tension here we're going to reel up the slack yes there we go oh that feels really good what do you think of the audio and the video so far this is a, a different camera I'm using a hero 8 this is a, a used one someone oh you're coming in on me Someone let me borrow their Hero 8 to play around and get used to it because I have a new one coming. I have a Hero 8, a brand new Hero 8 on its way. Wow, this is a nice fish. We were using a Hero 7 previously for quite some time. I'm telling you, this spot has been really productive. Other spots around here with my 12 footers, I could get in a deep hole, but it's about that low water going for a good ways in front of me with that thick mud that makes it difficult to fish. If, if you want, if you got to land a really big fish, you have to basically drag it through the mud. And then if you want to release that big fish, you got to walk out in the mud and you might not be able to come back. So yeah, this is this is pretty productive because it's not shallow right in front of us. It's not super deep, but it's not super shallow either. The bait likes it. Look at that. See the tail come up on that fish? This is a decent fish. I'm going to get down on these slippery rocks.
why would I not come back here? I'm telling you. Look at that, people. He's not ready to give up yet. Oh, that was, that was, that's legend right there. Ooh, look how scuffed you are. I'm taking my time with him. That's pretty decent. Get him right there. Nice. Almost need a bigger net for this one. Oh, that is a decent fish. Let's get him up to the flat rock. Oh yeah, not even in the 20 pound class. He's in the 30 pound class. Look at that guys, 35.28. What a fish for the first fish. Oof. When the first fish is like this, you know where I'm fishing tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was pretty decent yesterday, even though I was not here very long. We'll be here a little longer today. I'm, I'm just totally chuffed. I'm really happy with a, a 35 pound fish for the first fish. First bite too. Awesome. All right, let's keep going. He's got it. I'm still really chuffed, really happy about that 35 pound fish, but I gotta say, I really am not getting anywhere near the amount of bites as I did yesterday on this particular session. Just that one fish. We haven't been here really that long, maybe coming up on 45 minutes to an hour. Still, it could really turn on as soon as we get closer to sunset, which is really, just around the corner about 10 minutes away so it should be turning on now it was a much hotter day today though as i don't know if you noticed but i'm wearing shorts got up to 80 degrees it is the back into the 70s right now about 76 this barge bite that's what this wake is about that might give us another good bite i have been seeing feeding i've seen big fish hit the surface busting bait so they could just be busy feeding off live bait right in here and you know they're just gonna have to find my baits oh look at that right on the left come on I got up for you got up for no reason this wake is just gonna get more and more intense before it gets less intense I think this is pretty much sunset. If you look over here, look how intense the sun is reflecting off the closest ship to us right there. I think that it says Berlin on the back of that one and further down is another one. This one is the best one visually. Same things happen over here on this side, on the right side of me, it's just not as pretty. So it should be turning on. We did get a bite from that barge going by or that ship I mean it's getting a drink of water and the Barney rod went off it's the first time on this session that it's had a bite did boop 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 just a, the slightest of taps since we've got into sunset which we're still going through right now it's really beautiful out here we've had a few bites Nothing serious yet though. Very, very active out here as far as the maritime stuff goes. Here we got another crew boat coming in front of us really close, but he's slowing down. I don't know if he's doing that for my benefit or if he's coming to... Oh, 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 oh! Barney Rod is knocking. Something's knocking on the Barney's door here. A 
lot of bites with this sunset action. Who's going to be serious? Look, right on the left, it's got some weird tension building up on it. Still getting a little tap tap on the Barney rod. Could have that scenario where we got a fish out here just sitting with that bait in its mouth too. I'd rather wait a little longer before I check that. There we go, look at that Barney. We might. Let's see if we got a slack line here on the Barney reel. How pretty is this sunset? I'm a little suspicious about the tension on the rod on the left right now and where it has stopped drifting. Maybe there is a, a, a snag in front of us somewhere that I've been missing mostly, but occasionally hitting. And I, I might be in it. Might just wait to see if a fish will pick me up out of it. Still getting that action on the Barney rod this one here on the right I think my line may have caught on something and my lead drifted this way but my line is stuck over here so that's why we're getting this weird tension is because we have a pivot point on the line here on this rod on the left I'm gonna pull down yeah we'll just let that sit a fish could pick it up out of there look at this i just pulled right on the left out of its problem without any problem and this the barney rod finally went off to be clear i still have everything out there on the rod on the left i just pulled it up out of whatever it was on building that tension we no longer have a pivot point. Got lucky, we're not in a snag. We definitely have a nice fish on the Barney reel. If you're unaware of what I'm talking about when I say Barney, a subscriber from Texas sent this Pin Ferris 3 to me in the mail. We've been catching some nice fish with it. fish is not too far away but holding its head down oh just came up not a massive stingray oh you got to tell me when you're going to beaver tail so i can get my hand out of the way so the folks can see you there he goes Probably a 20 pound nuisance fish right here is what we got. Maybe even smaller. But I believe we have a blue cat. Yeah, probably not even a 20 pound class fish here. I just unhooked that little fish. Looked over here at the rod on the left and I see something interesting building up. Can you see it? We're gonna have to get this stuff out of my way because I think we got something else happening here. Yeah. Check it out, people. Probably somewhere around 12 to 15 pounds. We got a river cruiser coming by. There you go. Off the high dive. Finally. Look at that, people. Look at that. 
I'm gonna pick up the rod and see if he's ready. Yep. One right after another, back to back. So it was, this fish feels decent. We had to get right after sunset to start getting back into these hookups. Did have a few bites right at sunset. Not a lot before. We were, I guess, extremely lucky to start the session with a 35 pound fish. But we'll see what we end this session with. This is not the last fish by far, people, but <laughs> I'm not planning on it being the last fish. And I don't believe in jinxes, so. Ooh. Oh, wow. Power switch. He, he hit it. All oh, beaver tailing out there. He's already coming in. Oh, there you go. This time there's not a rod in my way. Look at that. Not a massive tank. Oh, but lots of fight in this one. About the same size as the fish I just threw off the high dive. Do one more pass here. There you go. You getting it? All right. There is a wake coming. We gotta hurry. I can see it. It's like a little miniature tsunami. Do not want wet feet. out of the danger zone here it comes Ooh. massive I didn't even see what ship went by to make that you really got to look out there when you're down at the, the water line especially because it's low tide these wakes could come right up and give you wet feet not a massive fish by far, but the strange thing is had a lot more fight in him than the fish before him, which was maybe a little bigger. He did come out of deeper water than the fish before him though. But yeah, a lot of fun. Hopefully we get another 30 pound class fish, but just catching fish is great. Can you guys see what's going on? right now this is a really warm night for november that means the mosquitoes are out and there's quite a bit right here in front of us because i'm running these lights not really biting me or bothering me but there's a considerable amount out hey look i think our next fish is knocking on the door that's not the barney door the barney's on the left now he's giving us a slack line to Yes, I would say that we probably have a hook up here. Yes, yes we do. We just had a crew boat come up to the tanker for a second and turn around. You hear that noise? It sounds like something moaning. That's that crew boat. Uh, this is coming in on us. Hope it's not a rat. Oh, there's a little power right there. Oh, it's 
already up at the rocks. It's too far for me to be able to, oh, there's a little power right there. Too far for me to see what we're dealing with here. It's not a giant fish. We're just bringing it along the rocks here. What do we got? Oh, it's a little blue cat. Thank goodness, for a second I thought we had a little stingray on. Not bad. If you wanted to keep fish. Yeah, you're right. A little bit of a fun catch. I'm gonna let this one go. I would say 35 pounds is a pretty good accomplishment for this session. So I'm gonna call it right there. Thanks for watching and subscribing, guys. And I'll see you next time.